Ah, oh, fuck, I lost again! Sub bitch, Kareen's got you down? You need Tobin's StarCraft II training course for only three easy payments of $19.95. I'm interested, show me more. Let's go! Okay. Alright, eat that bowl of kimchi. Okay. Motherfucker, are you kidding me with a fork? There you go, that's Kareen, let's do this shit. Go, go, eat it, eat it. And go! Stop! 50! That is not good enough! Again! Okay. Go! Alright, okay. How about this? That's not Kim Jong Il enough. What else you got? Uh... Oh, now that is fucking stupid crazy. That's right. Is this the right Korea? It's the best Korea! Oh, oh yeah, you like that bitch? Oh yeah, I call that the Korean hot pot. <laughs> oh yeah, I beat Slayer! God damn it! Yes! Yes! Oh, no. You're gonna freeze frame this, right? I have no idea how to do that. Oh, fuck. <laughs>this is episode 198 of NoobTube, a weekly independent podcast where Yuzo is fucking stomping on some other Asians Mike. that are different Asians than his Asians. I know. Hey, dude, I was I was skeptical yeah. at your plan, but it actually works. I beat the top ranked. That's right. Korean so sign up now, kids. My uh, my Korean uh, training camp is is the shit. That's right. So, um, <laughs> I'm Tobin Kozire, and this week we are talking about StarCraft II, yeah! Hydro Thunder Hurricane, Alien Swarm, and Castlevania Harmony of My Despair. My god, that's a lot of games. And next, and I'm using... And I'm Yuzo Watanabe. <laughs> this week we have a bunch of new releases, including Cannon Lynch 2, Dog Days. Uh, we played the first one. This might be different. Ooh, we don't know. Yeah. Uh, Laura Croft and the Guardian of Light. A Top Gun. <laughs> a t- uh, Highway to the, the danger, danger zone. zone. I think it's a volleyball game. Yeah, that's right. You got to take your shirt off and get sweaty and Very gay. Very greased. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, EverQuest 2 extended. Yeah, this is an interesting one. Yeah, I'm not sure. Mm, we'll see. But let's get started with StarCraft! I have run out of Vespine wine. Mm. I think Make I need sure some more. Make sure you get your dudes to go get you yeah. some more Vespine wine. <laughs> So StarCraft 2, I think this is going to be mostly me. Uh, yes. You did not play this game. I did oh, not. Oh, man. Um, and why is that? I'm just curious. Well, I mean, we, we've talked about this before. Like, I, I played a bunch of StarCraft in college. Oh, yeah. A lot of StarCraft in college. I played a lot of uh, World, uh, sorry WarCraft in college, yep. WarCraft 2. So I, I genuinely burned out the part of my brain <laughs> that cares about the RTSs. Like, I have no dis... I don't, I don't hate them. I don't think that they're bad, whatever. But it's like... I played the StarCraft 2 beta mm-hmm. for like an hour, and I was just like, clickety-clickety-click. I was yeah. just like, I don't care. <laughs> you do not I want just, to mine minerals. I just don't care. Just, like, it, it's, yeah. you know, whatever. Like, if you guys, you know, you guys like it, you obviously love the shit out of it. You've been playing nonstop. <laughs> well, I got to say, I was the exact same mindset. When, like, when you're talking about RTS, especially RTSs yeah. that fit that same mold, like, I played all the Command and Conquers. I played, you know, and I love Supreme Commander, and then they came out with 2, which sucked. Yeah. It's just like, it's kind of hit and miss, right, right, for the RTSs, and like... I played StarCraft 2, and it's just like, I fell in love with them again. Nice. Uh, when you talk about, because you look at StarCraft, at Blizzard, who pretty much perfected the genre yeah. back in the day, so much so that South Koreans are still playing StarCraft 1 to this day. Competitively. Competitively for million, like maybe tens of thousands of dollars, yeah. at least professionally. Um, and, you know, they've been working on this game for... Ten years, ten let's years say. at this point. Let's yeah. just say ten years. And the thing is, I can really tell how the, how dated this game was. At some point, uh, so there's TVs in the game you can watch like news broadcasts yeah. and stuff. And they, occasionally they have <clears throat> funny commercials. Yeah. Um, there is a funny commercial where you have a marine in silhouette with a pistol that's white, jumping around, and it says, "I pistol." Oh wow! So like they took the first iPad, iPod yeah, ads. Like, like the ones that were like six years ago with all the iPad stuffs. There, uh, they thought it was hilarious. Yeah, and, and like, they forgot to read <laughs> it. Forgot to get new jokes. Yeah, well, basically, you know, you have a marine sitting on the corner with a lap with his pistol, like yeah. know, something, right? See, nowadays they could just have like marines killing juggalos. <laughs> <laughs> no, burying their breasts first. That's right. And Breeze's like, killing. hey, bitches, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> See, that would be timely. Yeah, that would but, be. Um, for about a year. 
<laughs> Sorry, for a week on, the internet, a week on the internet, which is a year. Um, but yeah, so it's just like this game has been polished. And like we talk about, you know, Valve and all these other places, like really getting the, the core game down. Yeah. And like there is nothing I can say about the gameplay element that's just bad. So <clears throat> would you say like, so So when I was playing for my hour that I played. A uh, multiplayer beta, right? Right. So yeah. it, it felt to me like they had really just carbon copied the first game's mechanics mm-hmm. and then just made it gorgeous. I mean, did, so now that you've been playing for like 40 hours, what <laughs> so would I've you say playing, about the mechanics? Um, so, okay, so let's, let's start with the multiplayer. So the multiplayer, they they didn't mess with a good thing. Yeah. So the, the original StarCraft, it's still such a deep... Like, you don't fuck with chess. Right. right? Yeah, exactly. You don't go back, you're like, dude, chess is so 10 years ago, I let know, me just rewrite like, the rules for that. I'm a little done with chess. Yeah, exactly. Right? It's like, a tire, it's like no, no, people they got their still shit. play. And it's yeah. just like, this game is so balanced that it's just like, it's really tough to say like, no, 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 no you don't have... Mineral gathering anymore? Like right. no, it's it's not that. It's like you take mineral gathering, you take micromanagement, you take macro management, like micro and macro. Yep. You take about like all these different things, and you up the graphics. You add a couple of key things, which I think really change it from StarCraft. 1. So what's the key stuff? Well, um, you have multiple multiple levels. So now when I am at a higher level and yep. I have my siege tanks, I'm doing massive damage to everybody else. Oh, I see. So you can right. level up the, the siege tanks. Stuff. Exactly. There's this other thing where now like I have siege tanks or, I, or, or my siege tanks have a certain amount of range. You know, I can make my other guys go because they, they can view a little bit farther. Yeah. You know, that kind of stuff. Uh, they also did um, add a bunch of new units. Okay. So the, the other units before, it's just like I, I can go into all of them, but that's probably going into a little more detail. But it's just like yeah. a lot more units, but they still made it. I don't want to say perfectly balanced, but bal- more balanced than any game that right. I've ever seen. And you know that being as, as anal as they are, like yeah. they're going to be using the data that they're gathering right now to still finely tune it, where it's just oh, yeah. the cool thing is is they can make it so you can't play on Battle.net until you get the latest patch. Mm-hmm. So they can very they can lockstep enforce the rules such that they're like, okay, this guy needs to be 2% weaker because and, his kills seem unfair. And it's to that level. I mean, like, we were playing the game. Like, I was playing to some point where there was a certain build order that Protoss has figured out. Yeah. It was just the Void Ray Rush, if, for the people that are watching, right? It's just like, they What's figured it, it out, the Void Ray Rush. Okay. So they would actually you do a rush where it's just Void Rays that come after you, where there is almost nothing that I could do as a Terran really? to back it off. Like, yeah. the, the typical thing is you just do, um, you do Marines. Yeah. You do a bunch of Marines. It's like, okay, I figured it out. I'm going to do a bunch of Marines. Yeah. And, like, I would do the Marines and they'd still die. Mm. So no matter what I did, played perfectly. And they just got to a point where they would have two void rays and they'd charge their... Uh you know no. but, but they charged their beam, yeah. and it'd be so charged that basically each marine would die in like a microsecond. Uh. It'd just be like, wah, wah, wah. so they just figured it out. And then what they did was they tweaked the build time a little bit. They tweaked, just made a little bit longer to build those. A, yeah, a little bit longer to build those. Yeah. Like marines can come up a little bit quicker. Uh. It's just like they, all of a sudden it's just like, oh, it works now. Now the game's fair again. And, and now this just counter. So now it's all about okay. Like I'm looking. Okay, I see one gas being farmed. Like. So you could either be doing, <laughs> right? <laughs> you could either be doing, you know, like uh, like whatever, they, like all these different techniques, and you have to anticipate. Do you know the that. chess openings? Basically, yeah. what you're saying is you're like you're like, oh, I see, that's an Armenian feint. You know, it's just that's like right. oh, and then and then you know you know your your responses to the openings, and you yeah. kind of get your repertoire of moves. I um, mean, you get yeah. So, so, so there's a strategic move, and then I'm also always constantly playing to get myself faster. Yeah, right. So it's just like what, I got. What's to your point, APM? <laughs> what's my APM? I'm looking. I'm like I look at a six minute mark. Okay, I want ten Marines, two Marauders. Can I beat that? And I'll play those six minutes over and over again, wow. like a fucking Korean. Yeah. At a, at a at a camp. Yeah. Right, and that it's just like awful. But. <laughs> But it's not awful when you no, play. No, I, I, I understand the appeal. And, and the, yeah, the appeal is like you're playing now because like I'm in, you know, I'm in bronze or I'm silver and yeah. I'm in a league, and I'm like, oh, I'm starting to beat people, and then all of a sudden you get trounced by somebody at the other end, mm, and yeah. then you watch the replay and you're watching every individual moment. Are you still doing the the YouTube uh, uh, the videos with the the games with the commentary? Yes, yeah, so I was up to a point, and then the beta stopped. Yeah. Um, so I haven't really caught up with them lately, yeah. but I'm definitely when I start playing competitive game. So I've so my review about this game. We just talked about the multiplayer. Like, yeah. it's about the campaign. Really? Because that's all I've been playing for the past, like, 14, 15 hours. Yeah. This campaign is amazing. Oh, really? So, yeah, it's just like, so, the, so you know, it's just, it's unfortunately Activision bot, or Activision Blizzard combined. Yeah. So they did not release a campaign for each race. They cut uh, it up. Oh, right, yeah. So yeah. they want to release a game every year now. Right, right? <laughs> it's, yeah. It's, that's what, the, so they only did Wait, the Wait, Activision wants to, like... Stretch something out way longer than anybody else wants yeah. them to. Like milk, milk the franchises. Bunch of cocks. But it's Blizzard, so at least yeah. you know they'll they'll up the thing as opposed to other franchises like right. Call of Duty potentially. Yes. Uh, so so it's like they actually only did the the the, um, the Terran ones, but they have twenty six missions you can go through, and they just put this crack in there where I keep replaying them. Oh really? Like so the same th- missions. 
there's three achievements for every mission. Uh, so one is achieve every mission objective, including bonus ones. Okay. So like I'd finish it, and I would only miss one of the bonus ones. I'm like, fuck! Yeah. And then I'd redo it. Oh, wow. So you uh, got to so make sure you get everything. Yeah. There's some some mission maps have achievements of finishing it on hard within 20 minutes. Ooh. Some have it like... like that's, when that's when your build time comes into play, yeah. Exactly. Some like have it... So like I'm actually replaying a bunch of different missions, and I'm having a... Ball. That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Right. Um. So it's not just that. So, so the campaign. Have you, have is you awesome. beaten the game? Like, so I wanted. Through? So last night I'm like, dude, I'm at Char. I'm, no, that's not giving you. I'm at the last planet, which yeah. has three missions on it. I'm like, I gotta finish this before, but it's just like it's like 3 a.m. and I'm like, uh, I can do it. So your like, brain starts to get too slow. You can't. Yeah, do I the, know. The, yeah, yeah. It's just it was too much. So like, and I had to work actually the next day, yeah. unfortunately. So um, I did not get to finish it, but I. I'm getting pretty damn far, right? I haven't yeah. locked a bunch of stuff. Campaign is awesome. If the if I can give only one fault to this game, the story kind of sucks. Really? It, it's so. I mean, I I actually have a couple a couple buddies uh, like Winster and some other people were saying that, that they uh, they really enjoyed like the voice acting. They said that they were keeping the really? stories kind of very. You, you didn't like that. No, the voice acting was good. It yeah. wasn't like something like I'd point out and say it was terrible, but right. it's just like you kind of expect. Uh, Considering it's been ten bar years, my high. bar is really high, high for these guys. So it's just like, really, this, mm. is, this guy's really annoying. He looks kind of like, uh, he looks just like uh, Napoleon Dynamite. Whoa! <laughs> so it's another one of those things where it's like you know they thought it was really cool back in the time, yeah. like, but that was four years ago. Go kill the Zergs, God! <laughs> it's like, my lips are really chapped. <laughs> Yeah, the lab nerd who's like doing all this research. He's and I'm Napoleon like, Dynamite. he's Napoleon Dynamite. That's like, funny. Damn, that was six years ago. Yeah, I don't know. It was a really long time ago. Um, so wow, they really they didn't they didn't update any of their references. And you, at all. you can't fault them because it's a lot of work to yeah. redo. You can't just change a character overnight. Um, but it's just like you look at the storyline. It's just like yeah, okay, yeah. This person is having a renewal. This it's just yeah. like it's not very interesting. And it felt it felt almost like they made the decision kind of like late to switch it into di three different things. Probably so did of, right. So almost like, as if when they got bought, they had to change. <laughs> their plans, right? Yeah, so it's like, let's pad this shit out, because uh, that's kind of how it felt. Yeah. Right? Um, but overall, it's just like, the campaign's awesome, and not only that, they actually have all these amazing training missions. Oh, cool. So they have these challenges that you gotta do, it's just like, okay, you are Terran in the middle of, and you have a base. Yeah. You have uh, 10, you know, 10 Marines, 20 Marauders, and some Vikings. Right. We have these other units coming after you, like, right? Like, like we have, like, uh, Hydralisks and Zerglings and whatever. Right. Now, Pick your mix and match and put them in the area to start with and then have a fight. Oh. And then your, your goal is to keep the number of people alive. Yes, it's like a tower defense with, uh, like, I mean, like they're kind of having you stick out where you're putting Well, figure your... out the right mix yeah, 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 of yeah. units, right? Because yeah. you want to fix, fix it. And not only that, once you actually start, then it's like, Round one, and you only do this 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 uh, one round over here. So you actually have to work so in it's micro plants, too. Plants versus Starcraft, <laughs> basically. <laughs> so like it's teaching you by based off mm. all these other things to actually teach you how to do the right the mix, That's awesome. how to micro and yeah, all this yeah. other stuff. And it's like then they have a bunch of challenges around beating the AI. Uh, then they have a bunch of challenges of doing like so. It's just like this game will last me. So have you years. gotten to do any any uh, multiplayer at all yet? So I've done a little bit, but yeah. I've really been concentrating. on I the saw some dudes campaign. calling you out. I saw like Sunflower Four Thousands calling. Oh, you well, out. they're not online at the same time as me. So yeah. that's but I mean, I'm, I'm seeing people that are just like, all right, we want to see what Yuzo's got. Man, we want to see his chops. I have two more missions left on Char, and then you then you and dive, then that's when dive into drop. the world of multiplayer. I do need to spend a little time against the AI just yeah. to like get my build orders back up again. Right. Make sure I got my you know massive fucking MMM build. Right. I got my Reaper Rush build. You got to get your I got kimchi. My, got my kimchi build. Right. My the Tobin special build, I mean, yeah. the, the, the teaching, I mean, that... The Tobin Jung Il build. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty epic. Yes. I, I, they will never expect... Oh, you, you, no one never. expects the Tobin Inquisition. <laughs> but yeah, no, so this game is like, I cannot believe how how much value you get with it. So even if they split this up, like, you know, fuck you Activision, but like for 60 bucks yeah. of like the entertainment I'm going to get this game... I think it's like in my top three at this point, the best game of the year. Wow, that's like, fucking awesome. It is so good, like yeah. so polished. Does it come with a map maker? Yeah. Nice. That too. So like people are already playing custom maps. Nice. Like, I told you about somebody made Tetris, somebody yeah. made Final Fantasy. Yeah. Like, How the fuck are they doing that? That's crazy. <sighs> I don't know. That is really cool that, like, that, that, that there's that much flexibility in the level builder that you can actually... I saw somebody did kind of like a... Um, like a, a Resident Evil style, like they put a swamp with yep. a bunch of fog and all yeah. this stuff. Like people and you can get like some... first person now. Yeah. It's just like, I... so Who like... puts first person in a StarCraft engine? That's hilarious that that's just possible built in for what they've well, already got. Well, you know got. what they did, right? Actually, he watched some of the some of the different uh, campaigns and all that. All of a sudden, it's just like, boom, the camera comes down yeah. and looks at some stuff. And I'm like, wow. Just because they did that, they actually implemented in scripting in the designer. 
that's bad. Yeah, so, so so you know, awesome job, Blizzard. You guys can pretty much do no wrong yeah. as far as what I've been able to see so far. Blizzard doesn't fuck um, up anything. No, and they. Like, I mean, you know, in 2015, I think Diablo three is going to be <laughs> really good. Dude, I think with Activ- the one good thing about the way Activision is involved now, I think they want money so much. They will push Blizzard a little bit. Give they them a little bit of, yeah. Give them a little, little bit, bit of push shot. and just say, like, no, 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 no. You're going to release Diablo with two classes. Right, yeah. <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> I mean, so oh, my God. Every year. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're totally going to do that. They're going to be yeah. like Diablo. And it's like, yeah, it's Diablo colon wizard. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, fuck. <laughs> He plays like, the whole don't game. Don't give him those fucking and then, ideas. And then, like, like, next year, you guys get the Archer Barbarian. for $60. <laughs> well, that, that's, the thing, that's the thing that really boggles my mind. It's just like, look, I give this a total double thumbs up because yep. you get this amazing campaign, an amazing multiplayer, right. and level designer. It's just like, guess what? $60 for Protoss? So what just you're saying campaign? when they come out with the next one, that's just going to be a campaign. Like, I... On, 60 bucks? Yeah. Do you think, I mean, maybe if it's just a, if it's just a, a map pack, like if it's basically a campaign, maybe they'll do like 40 bucks. Sorry, it's Activision. Please. It's $60. It, so here's the thing. Yeah. Activision, if you guys make it for $60 and it's just a campaign, fuck you. I probably won't do it. Like, I, on principle, I won't play, because the campaign's good, but yeah. like, I'm going to play the multiplayer. You better change up the multiplayer, yeah. add another race, add something a little, do something good for yeah. 60 bucks. Otherwise, make it 40? Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. 40 bucks. Yeah, 40 I mean, that's, bucks. That's fair yeah. enough. For Blizzard quality levels. Yeah, in, in a year. Yeah. I mean, seriously. So, boop. Hell yeah, motherfuckers. So, uh, so next up, Hydro Thunder Hurricane. Hydro Thunder. I remember playing this game in the arcades. Along I fucking with... love this game in the arcades. Really? Like, well, I mean, there's there's the one where, like, I don't know if you've played on the Hydro Thunder that'll actually put fans. No, no, I haven't played I've played one. in some hardcore ones where it's just like, they'll have a fan in there, so it's like... It's the one that moves, right? You'll go, and if, like, you're, if you're in the air and do, yeah. like, a launch, it'll be like, woo, you know, you just, uh, like, it, for me, it's always been the best kind of game to play when you get, like, four drunk people mm-hmm. at uh, Dave & Buster's, yep. you know, like, people have been, play, like, drinking, and you're like, bitch, I'm gonna beat you in Hydro Thunder, and dude. it's like, whoa. No, the best you game, know, like, the, dude, the best game at Dave & Buster's if you're drunk is yep. the one where you do your finger. Have you seen that one? I hate that game! <laughs> You gotta go so fast. It cheats. That game cheats. The but, timer but, speeds up the closer I've you get seen to the somebody, end. I've seen an Asian guy. He went, and he's just like, he got a thousand tickets. Liar. I, I kid you not. I will take a video next time I'm there. That game fucking sucks. <laughs> but that, but yeah, so. It's because so I, I don't, except I have a big fat white finger that's like. <laughs> and you're drunk. And I'm drunk. Because you're basically like. Yeah, you like start uh, moving and this is like, time's up. <laughs> What? You get one ticket. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so Hydro Thunder, you played a lot. So Hydro um, Thunder, it's just, so the whole thing is it's just a water racing game, and, and the big, big, big thing with this yeah. is just crazy, crazy levels mm-hmm. and uh, lots turbo. Of side, uh, lots of side maps. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. To me, I always thought it was like San Francisco Rush on water. Right, right, right. I mean, and it's not that, because the whole thing is like you learn in these maps, you know, you go off a jump, and then you bust through a wooden wall, and you're like in this side. I mean, there's all you sorts of... You do that in San Francisco Rush. I don't yeah, know yeah, if it's yeah. not quite, but yeah. yeah. I know, but, I know. But I mean, like, yeah. there, there's there's 20 ways through every level yeah. in Hydro Thunder, which yeah, I think yeah. is super cool. And there's even shit where it's like you're going, you do a pickup that flips a switch, that raises a ramp. That I and thought was like, really neat. That yeah. was cool, man. Like the, I, I gotta give you, like, this this game is, is a lot, but like, the physics. Do you like the physics? I do. What is it about the physics that you like so much? Well, I mean, the thing that bothers because like, to me it feels really cheap. Like, like an arcade game should be, right? Like, yeah. I mean, like, it's probably just the same physics as the arcade game. Well, so, I mean, their, their big thing, like, like uh, I don't know, did you, did you do any of the multiplayer stuff? No, I just tried the trial and it was so, just like, mm. so I did the, so I did, so I bought the game. Uh, because yeah. I, I fucking love Hydro Thunder. And the cool thing is, if you do multiplayer, you can try any boat. So when well, I was doing good, multiplayer, yeah. I was picking the, I forget the name of this boat, but it basically looks like a starship. It's like a disc, uh-huh. and it's on the expert. It's like the super highest yeah. expert settings. And that's when you start to see what they do with the physics, which is the novice boats mm-hmm. have novice physics. They're all fucking boaty. Oh. And then it gets higher and higher, and then you start to get these things that almost like treat the water like glass, where like you can go See, maybe I should have want. done that. Because like I, I did play multiplayer a little bit, but then yeah. I got into a, <laughs> I got a lobby that I w- waited for about four minutes while uh. they were playing, and then they quit. Oh. And then I tried another one, and then it was just like, ah, forget it. So, so with me, I've had, I had really good luck. Like, I hopped on, and uh, I got into a, a six-player game where, yeah. like, we all stuck with it. So wow, okay. we stuck with it for a long time, and I kept, like, every race, I'd yeah. try different boats, and I was kind of getting a different feel for You're it. chatting and stuff? And... I wasn't chatting. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I'm kind of, like, I, I've learned my lesson with chatting. Like, I just want to whoop up on people. Yeah, yeah. So what happened was the first, like, four races, every race, I was, like, six out of six, six out of six. And I kept trying different, and I get, like, fifth out of six, fourth out of six. Huh. And then this last one, 
I, t- I picked the expert boat, and I just like basically I held down turbo the entire race because I was just hitting every fucking jump, and like you know I would flip the switch and I get the thing in midair, huh. and I was doing the turbo jumps yeah. and like picking up the stuff, and I got first out of six. And I was just like stand up in my living room, like, like yeah! done. I'm never gonna play this game again. <laughs> By, and the cool huh. thing is, is when you when you whoop up on everybody in multiplayer, it gives you like a thousand points. A thousand points go back into the game, unlock more levels to play, unlock mm-hmm. more boats to play with. Uh, like so, I mean, the, the whole like thing is, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It's just like that. So you're getting this kind of constant feedback. Yeah. And the cool thing is the leaderboards. Yeah. So you get all the noob tubers that are on my friends list. Every single race, every single challenge has all the people that you know and their times. Oh, and it's, and like, like yeah. as you're playing, it'll be like, hey, just so you know, HP 1703 finished this race in two minutes and 17 seconds. And you watch your timer going yeah, up. Yeah. Like, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> So it actually has, does it have ghosts or anything like that? No ghosts. No uh, ghosts. See, would ghosts cool. would be that would be ghosts really would have cool. been a little bit nicer. Yeah. But um, yeah. So like, I was playing this game. It's just like, and I think it probably a part of it was the novice. It's yeah. just like the physics weren't very interesting. Yeah. Um, and they didn't let you play any of the other boats until uh, you went to multiplayer, which yeah. kind of sucks. So it's just like, I was playing it. It looked kind of cheapy. It's just like fifteen bucks. I'm like. I'll let Tobin yeah. <laughs> and actually figure that. out. So, like, so I think I actually think that it looks pretty good. Like I, I, really? I mean, so the thing is, is we have to. I mean, like this is a fifteen dollars. It's a, it's game, a downloadable right? game. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, like absolutely. you know, for sixty dollars, I'd be like, ah, oh, they could have spent more time. You want on levels, split but, second? You yeah. want blur? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, for fifteen dollars, it's like the complexity of the level design where I'm going through a level and seriously, I'll play a level 10 times and the 11th time I'm playing through it, I'm like, oh my God, I can break through that wall and go through this side tunnel and, you know, like there's like different ways <sighs> yeah. to go through and it gets fucking weird. Like there's some levels where there's these big stone giants swinging axes. There's this one <laughs> level where there's a huge serpent in a whirlpool uh-huh. and you have to go around the serpent and it's like <sighs> hissing at you and shit. I mean, like the level starts to just get out of control. I just do not, like I'm trying to figure, cause like you're not a big racing game fan, right? It's just like basically if it doesn't have guns, yeah. you're not interested. And this game has no guns whatsoever. It's just yeah. on a boat. But it's got a lot of turbo. Ex- <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, okay. So, so the thing is, is for me, this is kind of like, like, a, like a blur on. Yeah. Uh, not sorry, not blur. Let's say split second. This is like a split yeah. second on water, where hmm. you know you're doing all sorts of stuff. Where it's like I, I kind of see the complexity of you know timing the explosions to blow other people up yeah. as the way of like you go through a level and you're flipping switches and you're going through different. You know, like I, yeah. I like to learn the map and I like to kind of it's fight against. It's almost like learning the line, right? I mean, like if you look at like the core gaming loop of a racing game, mm. it's playing it over and over again to get the best possible path to get the best possible time. When to me, it's just like Tobin would never be interested in something like that. And I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I mean, like I, I won't. I won't play a level fifty times to get the line. I'll play through for the excitement of of exploring. Probably exactly. maybe that's the, maybe that's the difference because like for he, for for this game, the difference isn't really like you know doing the turns just. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No, it's because like, a wave will throw you off. I mean, yeah. like, that's the thing. Is it's it's kind of random. Yeah, almost. exactly. So I mean, you're not going to learn the line because the next time you come through, somebody else will have come before you and they flip the other switch down. Exactly. Or I yeah. mean, somebody boosts into the back of you. you, know, but, you like, but this game's more about exploring where you're just like, I know if I go right over here, I'll blow something up and I'll pass the stone giants and I'll beat yeah, somebody. exactly. So I think maybe there's an exploration aspect that you like a little bit better yeah. with, with it. But just like for me, it's just like, I'm, I, I don't even know if I like the physics of of gaming ones that much but it's like it kind of felt jank the novice boats the novice boats yeah. really jank me it's just like this game's cheap a very <laughs> cheap racing game yeah you know well, I mean, and the thing uh, is, is is boats don't behave the same as cars right I mean like that's yeah. the thing is it's, it's, it's supposed to be mushy because the cool thing is is you start to do these things where you know, you start to learn that if you turn this way and boost, you can do the sharp tor- turns. I mean, yeah, like, like water spray. Yes, yeah, so you yeah. learn the you learn the physics of the boat. And like, stuff. I, I feel the same way about like uh, was it joy was it joy ride. Not Joy Ride. Uh, the the PSN game that we played. I don't know the one where you can design your own maps. And we said like the controls were really shitty. Oh, the uh, the, the one that yeah yeah I know what you're talking Joy, about. Joy Ride. I know it's uh, God damn it, it's Mod Nation Racers. Mod Nation Racers. Yeah. yeah. So um yeah actually Joy Ride's the other one. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah no so Mod Nation Racers like like that, that's the thing it was like controls were like so. Bleh, yeah no I, I like, felt I exactly really... that way about Mod Nation Racers so yeah. like I agree with you completely but I mean for, but then for me you start playing the expert yeah uh, ones. okay yeah and the boats and the the cool thing is is the the more you beat the more points you unlock the better boats you get so you start to like you know it's it's like a lot of racing games they're like here's your Ford fuck shit. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and he was like, Rrr. and like, all right, now you get a nicer car. Now you get a nicer car. Because I me, mean, at yeah. first, you're seriously driving a brick. Like you just, feel just, like you just, you know, like I'm saying, even in, in car racing games, you're just like. <laughs> but see, in car racing games, for some reason, it's different. So, like, I, I totally understand what you're saying. But like when I play Wipeout, which is which definitely has that thing where like I'm still having fun shooting people. I'm yeah. still having fun doing this other stuff. And, like, it, it kind of introduces you to you gradually. And for me, for this one, it's just, like, the novice boats are so shitty <laughs> that, 
that made me yeah. want to stop playing the game. Wow. So like, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. probably give it thumbs down. Oh, and the, so the other modes I didn't mention is is there's there's a race mode, mm -hmm. there's a uh, um, uh, timing like through the hoops mode. So there's like a bunch of different rings, and every ring you go through, you get boosts. Your whole goal is to basically boost 100 yeah. percent of the time. And then there's one where there's big death barrels, <laughs> and it's like demolition. So you're like trying to go through without getting your shit blown up. So I mean, yeah. there's, there's a bunch of different modes. A little bit of writing, and also yeah. challenges, and you get uh, leaderboards before every single one. That's right. Oh, that's right. So I, I definitely, yeah. and I wasn't a big fan of Hydro Thunder. I was more a San Francisco Rush gotcha. sort of guy. So. Gotcha. But yeah, but definitely, if you get this game, hop online and do multiplayer because, like, once you get some points and you start to, to to figure out the feel of the game, multiplayer when you when you are doing like neck and neck racing with other real people, it's it's the shit. It's really fun. Cool. It doesn't have that annoying. Uh, Rubber banding. There's that. no rubber banding in this game. <laughs> if you suck, they will. You will be like 25 seconds behind everybody wow. else. I mean, like there is no leveling. So I mean, it is it is pure skill racing. And hmm. a lot of the races that I'd be in, there'd be like five dudes, like Whoa. yeah. And it's like me the rest of the race. I'm just like going along. I'm like, there's no there's no like special you suck boost. That's like <laughs> let's catch up with your friends. There's no fucking blue shell. There's none of this. Like you get a star. And you like you know, that? Huh? I love it. Really? I want fairness in racing games. Yeah. I want no help from anyone. Because when you beat somebody, it you feels fucking much beat somebody. There's no luck. Uh, no, I agree. I, it just depends on, I think, the, my mood. If I'm playing a party game with a bunch of people, I'm doing a little drinking. Like, yeah. It's kind of fun. It's like, yeah, I just fuck you up. And yeah, it wasn't unfair, but I still, I fuck you up. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, fun, sure. you know, I mean, party games are a whole different thing. But I'm saying, like, when I'm sitting at home by myself, I want to whoop up on people and know that they're in their living room knowing that I'm better than them. <laughs> You're just sitting there just staring at the screen. It says Tobin I, zero zero. I'm just impressed that I, I heard a dump on your chest. <laughs> I'm just impressed that I heard you play like a race ten times to get better at it. Yeah, like I didn't. I don't think like for a racing game. I think that's. I never thought that was in you. Like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't usually. Yeah, it, it's it's a special. I mean, like because it's that, a boat. <laughs> it, it is. I'm on a boat. But uh, but I mean, I did that with Blur. Yeah. I did that That's with. Right. I mean, so like, as long as it's super cartoony and ridiculous, uh, guns, with guns, fucking turbo on a boat, on a boat with T Pain, <laughs> with T Pain, yeah. Anyway, I so, liked yeah. it. So, cool. uh, so next up was uh, uh, Alien, uh, Alien Swarm. Swarm. Uh, yeah, so Alien Swarm. This is the free game that we were like all jazzed about. Yep. Like, this is a game that if you just go to, Val to Steam right now and yep. type in Alien Swarm, download for free, play with a bunch of new troopers. Yeah. So let's let's just start off by saying. How fucking cool is it that Valve released a free multiplayer game and there's no hitch? There's yeah. no like free for ten minutes and then please give us money. There's no free yeah. with three guns and then give <laughs> us money. They're just like we're Valve free. Here is a game. Please have fun. Yeah, and it's just like no ads, no no no, no bullshit no. like that. It's just like guess what? Here you go. Here's a free game. And you know what? It's not half bad. No, it's I'm, not awesome. No, it is not. But awesome. it's not half bad. Right. So um, that. I mean, that's the thing. It is, yeah. it is definitely one of those games where you play for, you know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and you're just like, all right, I get it. I get you know, it. It's, it's kind of like Smash TV-ish. Yes. Where it's a top-down, slightly isometric view, right. and you pick up a lot of weapons, you kill a bunch of aliens. Yeah. So that, and, um, and, and the whole the, the whole big draw is, it's is it two to four person multiplayer? Uh, four, four person, I think, tops. Yeah. Uh, and um, the, the other thing, too, is like class-based. Right. So it's got a little bit of Team Fortress-y, you know, elements to it, where you got, like, somebody who's, you know, who's a medic who can, like, drop down things. You feel like an open particular doors, tech yeah. guys. You got a bunch of different roles. And what you mean by Smash TV is that it's a dude, and, and what you're doing is you're basically walking, stick, sure. walking, yeah, walking with one direction and then firing in different directions with another, so you can walk yeah. and fire backwards and all that stuff. Um, and I, I don't remember how many, I only played it, uh, like, all the way through one level once, and I think that might be one, it might be two, I forget, mm. I forget. but um, it's kind of like, um, it, I really like the, the unlocking aspect. So you yeah. would play, and it's just like, okay, you play, you got this many experience points out of this mission, and you get to unlock a bunch of stuff. And yeah, that's very cool. Um, great, like awesome, fun yeah. stuff. And and the thing is, I was playing with other people online, and it was it was it was very much one of those things where you know you'd go through, and this guy's trying to unlock, uh, open a door, and I'm I'm defending him. There's yeah. like fucking aliens coming from the top, oh, yeah. and the bottom, and the side, and you're you know you're gunning them down, and like when you make it through the next level, and you know it, it's kind of cool because you've got this bonding like Left for Dead element to it. Yeah. Um, but but it's <sighs> it's very simple. If if they would have if they would have charged money for it, I would have a much different opinion of it. Yeah, that's true. Right? Like, I mean, seriously, if this was a fifteen dollar game, I'd be like, there's a few other fifteen dollar games I'd probably right. recommend over this game. Yeah, I mean, that's um, a, that, 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 my is, my big thing was that is that it was it was kind of cool and I enjoyed playing for a little bit, but I it once I stopped playing, I never really felt like going back. Like it's not yeah. it didn't make the memorable experiences that I look for in a multiplayer game where I'm yeah. like, hey, you know, remember last night and that alien was coming down and you fucking got yeah. a headshot and blah blah. blah like like, Left for Dead or Team Fortress. I mean, granted, these are paid for games. Like, uh, uh, like uh, was it Siege Mode and um, uh, 
was it called Siege Mode in, in um, uh, Yeah, Gears of War. Gears of War. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that kind of thing. Where Horde, Horde Mode, right? Horde Mode. Yeah. Horde Mode, that's right. So, I mean, like, when, when you get these things where, like, I like those experiences yeah. where you're with like your epic. buddies. Yeah, epic. I mean, like, and, and apparently uh, Cannon Lynch 2 is going to have moments like this as well really? where you're like, Remember that we we all made it to the escape car and then you <laughs> fucking betrayed us and like well, tried to you know like I read the stuff. article about about this the betrayal mode is my my most excited mo- yeah. moment for uh, Kenley. Well, we'll, we'll talk about we'll that. talk about that when we um, play it. So uh, yeah, so I think like uh, it's it's tough because like for free game and basically if you have a bunch of friends and you don't have anything better to do exactly. this game's like pretty freaking fun exactly uh, for just like. Dicking around, seriously. Yeah, yeah so, I mean, it's, it's um, a fun dicking around game, but I had a lot of other stuff that I wanted to do instead. Yeah, uh, like StarCraft. Yeah, and, and for, <laughs> in my case, uh, you know uh, uh, Mario 54671? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. he... Total kept, fanboy. Yeah, what a fanboy. <laughs> like, he, he kept bugging me on YouTube, and he was just like, yeah. dude, get the original uh, Mario and Luigi uh, RPG Wait, so on, is it on the one, GBA. So the one we reviewed, uh, what was the one we recently reviewed? In uh, Bowser's, Bowser's Dead Story. Dead Story. So it's, is it the first one? So it's the first one on GBA. So there's been two on the DS, and there's one before that on the really? GBA. Huh, uh, and okay. he was just like, get it, get it, get it. And I finally eBayed it. And I've actually been like sitting yeah. in my office at night playing the shit out of this. Is it good? It's really good. Did the, so I would imagine it's less advanced. Than it is. That. I mean, it's only one screen for one thing. Like you imagine GBA oh. games. GBA right, games. Yeah. yeah. So it's like you plug a GBA game into your DS, you and all the of a sudden screen, the bottom right? screen is black, and it's on the top screen. You can't use your stylus. You can't use your stylus. <laughs> You're just like, this is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> but on the other hand, it's huh. it's a Mario game. It's been designed by the geniuses behind yeah, yeah. all these Nintendo games, and it's just it's still got the it's, core great gaming. Exactly, nice. it's got the core timing stuff. So I mean, I I'll, I'll give a for, prob- maybe I'll give a full review down. That's yeah, you should not very timely, but I'll no. I'll, uh, GBA is a little bit outside little of the range, outside um, the scope. But but the point is, is I would rather play that than Alien Swarm. You see what I'm saying? Well, you like can't I played, compare. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, what I'm just saying is the draw of it, right? Yeah, yeah. Like I played Alien Swarm for an hour mm-hmm. with some people online. I was like, this is pretty cool. And I never went back. Yeah, and it's just like, you know, when it's free, you got to compare it to like other Flash games. That yeah. Are free. You got to compare That's it. It's true. just like, this is freaking amazing for a Flash game. So yeah, for free, for, give for it a free try. Game, it is fantastic. Uh, but yeah, some caveats. Hey, you know what's not fantastic? Um, what are you talking about? This is a Castlevania game. How yeah. could possibly a Castlevania game? How could you game? fuck up a Castlevania game? I don't game? understand. I mean, yeah. it's just like you got a whip. Right. You're getting some candles, getting yeah. some hearts. Right. Oh, you got so a big map. You don't have a whip, though. Wait, wait, what? You have a sword now. Yeah, that's okay though. Symphony of the Night had a great sword. You owl card. That's you true. go around. You killing Dracula. The castle turned upside down. Yeah, yeah that was but, awesome. But, and you got RP. You know, experience points. Yeah, it oh, was pretty oh, awesome. There's no experience points in this though. Yeah, uh, you know okay. how like in but other save games, points, like, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, like so you, so you yeah, go through like, level, right? You get yeah. a save point, and then if and you die go, in this really hard boss, yeah, then you, uh, it's you really start close. from there. Yeah, right, be, like, like right next to the boss, then yeah. you start and you try. Yeah, they took yeah, this out but, too. But so now what happens is that you get the the thirty minutes of backtracking to get back to the boss that killed you. I, I don't, I don't know if I like Doesn't that. Doesn't this sound awesome? I mean, all yeah. this stuff just pretty much fucking. <laughs> but I heard this game has some multiplayer though. It does. It does. Yeah, and like they. The map, yeah. So and oh, and and the graphics. Uh, you'd think that if it's on Xbox 360, they would, <laughs> they would amp up the graphics from say the DS level. I, I would to say the NES. The NES, yeah. I, some of those sprites look pretty NES to paste. me. Copy paste. Copy paste from the Nintendo over to the Xbox. It's about like maybe 60 squares. Yeah. Pixels more or less. Um. So yeah. So what is this game about? Like, what what did Konami in their infinite wisdom say? Like, C- Castlevania is broken. Let's right. fix it by blah. So, it's it's like they it, it's so what they it seems like what they did is they tried to take some of the Castlevania model from uh, the DS, like the newer Castlevanias, where it's like one big two D level that you're yeah. kind of exploring and backtracking. Or Metroidvania, and all stuff, yeah, Metroidvania yeah. stuff. Uh, but then they kind of wanted to make it the one level is like. It's it's not a story that you progress through. This castle. level is yeah. a thing to be conquered. Yeah. This level is a challenge, and if it takes you seventy times dying, that the victory will be even more sweet. Is yes. what they is, mm-hmm. is the kind of the way they approach that. And let's also tack in. Is it three, six players, something like that? Like yeah. a bunch of other people. Right. Who and then we'll just throw a bunch of switches everywhere where you can't get to certain areas unless you have somebody else yeah. flipping a switch for you. Which is hilarious because they left those switches in if you're playing by yourself. So yeah, you're playing by yourself, and they'll be like, "Yeah, here's a scale, and you got to step on the scale, and somebody else is gonna be on the other side, so you can get to the other thing." I was just like, huh. "But I'm playing by myself." Like, <laughs> yeah, it's just like can, can, during the trial, can I play with you yeah, to do some of these sorts it, of could things? Could you maybe put an AI that does some of the other <laughs> stuff? Like, could you? Yeah, I no. So, like, it was hilarious. Like, we were we were joking back and forth, but I am playing the game. Just like, okay, I went to this area and I got stuck. 
Yeah. Because I needed somebody to do I knew because you basically you're on a little elevator, you right. see a little switch, you're it's like, very clear that you huh. need another person. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's no special magic power. No. I was just like, okay, I think I'm done with this game. <laughs> It was like 15 minutes. Well, I was right? talking to you on AIM, and, and I was just like, dude, are you stuck in the Castlevania demo? And you're like, yeah, I got stuck. I don't know if I'm going to play anymore. I'm like, Bip, I am not letting this stupid fucking demo defeat me. Like, fuck this shit. It's not even defeat me. It's just like, I, I see what they're doing, and it's just yeah. like, no, 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 fuck you. I'm yeah. not going to play this game. No, it's true. I did feel very much of um, it. So I can tell you my fuck you moment, right? Yeah, so you yeah. go through levels. So, so I was about to give up when we got stuck, because I'm like, this is dumb. I hate this game. Yeah. So then I was like, no. I am better than that. I'm going to play through. So, like, I played through the level, and I started to realize there's there's some clever elements. I mean, like, Slightly. So, there's things like there's a boss shooting a laser beam through the whole fucking level. So, you can <laughs> zoom out. Yeah. You can zoom, like, three levels of zoom. There's, like, close in, medium out, and then yep. far out. And you can see there's this boss firing a fucking laser all the way across the level, and you can get hit by it. Yeah, you lose, like, 24 hit points, him. and it sucks. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you're, you're going through, and you can collect new equipment that you can equip, and you can get a better sword, and get a shield, and you can do this and that, and you start to kind of learn yeah, so the how Senator to do fighting. Yeah, so the Symphony Night stuff, like, a little bit, but I mean, just like the way, like, I don't even remember picking up a new weapon. Like, I didn't really go that far to yeah, pick a new much. weapon. But I, like, I, I, at the same time as you, like, when you said, like, no, 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 fuck you, I'm not going to let this game fuck with me, I'm like, all right, I won't either. I threw, I threw down the gauntlet. Would, and, like, I had already deleted it. <laughs> so I'm like, I guess I'll go. I punched you out. Yeah. I inceptioned your ass. Yeah, you did. I haven't seen the movie yet. But, well, um, yeah, don't spoiler no spoilers. Alert. Spoiler alert. But yeah, no. So like, and, like you know, it's hilarious. Like I started playing. You're like up and to the left, <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> And then I went up, and I got to the and boss. You went to the left. Yeah, and I went up to the left, and you were absolutely right. Yeah. And I went, and I got to the boss. And I'm like, wow, I'm like, I have about 100 hit points. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna go kill this boss. And the boss You're is fucking him in hard. The face okay. and throwing three, some magic shit. Three, three. Yeah, fucking hit him in the toe, and it's like one, yeah. one, three. And I'm one. like, wow, I've been hitting this guy, and I'm like, I'm doing really good dodging yeah. and shit. Yeah. Like, and I'm like, okay, I'm like hitting him, and like I'm doing it for about three minutes. Yeah. And I'm like, he's not dying. Yeah. And then and, I oh, die. there's no health bar. There's oh, no. no no indication of how he's doing. No, there's no food lying around or nope. anything. He's like, oh, and I die. And I'm like, well, we'll try that again. Yeah. Maybe I'll get another yeah, weapon. Just, yeah, yeah, I got, I got some ideas for yeah. my next play. Okay, what happens? Start at the beginning of the fucking level. <laughs> Why are you fucking kidding me? What? It was like, I, I did that and I died and it was just like, bing, bong, bing. And it started me at the beginning. I was like, delete. Yeah. <laughs> done. 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 And like, I, done. <laughs> I can understand where they're going with this, Konami, right? Konami's like, no, 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 but we didn't take away any of your items, I guess? Right. Or any experience points or whatever. It's, it's, the, you don't demon, it's the Demon's Souls approach. But it's not in a good way because it wasn't fun to get to the boss. Right, yeah. Oh, so yeah, that's they're basically punishing you, and there's right. only six levels. Yeah, exactly. So the, the game, the game has a very few number of levels that you're supposed to to grind over and over and over and over and over again. Get all the equipment, get all the shit you can gather to be ready powerful. to beat the boss. Because there's yet. no XP that they took XP out of right. the game. So you grind for no reason. There's no yeah. leveling. No, and it's all about just picking up different weapons. Right. And I can think for certain masochistic people out there, they're yeah. gonna love this game. Yeah, if right you like alley. Mega Man Nine. Yeah, Maybe actually, that's a game. really good example. Exactly. This is this is for the Mega Man Nine fucking psychopaths. They're like, yeah. no, it's great. It's punishing. I played that <laughs> yeah. game seventy five times before I beat awesome. the first level. As far, the first I felt like a badass. Times. Yeah, and I got all my four friends who were also the exact same way. Yeah, because they probably who knows they probably make it harder. Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They're throwing more <laughs> throwing more enemies. Random shit at you. So, yeah. It's just like it's that kind of game. I kind of see it's like, but Konami, like, if you're gonna mess with. Because they're, they're actually still trying to reinvent Castlevania as a 3D game. Yeah. And like, and I'm glad that they have somebody on the level of Kojima, so you know there's going right. to be some fucking cutscenes. Yeah. And some s- story. Yeah. It'll be long. <laughs> so It'll be like... <laughs> oh, let me talk about how war is so painful. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> And then at some point, like like some Belmont, some some Belmont will find yeah. a box in the corner. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> My God. Yeah, like oh, let me find Chrome in the box. <laughs> <laughs> I am so curious what what Lords was it Lords of Shadow? Yeah. I think it is. Like how that's going to turn out. We shall see. We shall see. Oh, let me let me one other thing that, that yeah. really pissed me off. This is the year 2010. <laughs> Games have tutorials. Even if that tutorial is like a little thing that pops up and it's just like, what hey, kind of tutorial do you need for a Castlevania game though? Like, what do you any, <laughs> any, but it's any just like, at all? You see a candle, hit it. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, yeah. they didn't explain, you know, like that you would you would press in different directions, use magic powers. Actually, they didn't no, explain that's what a happened really... when you pulled the trigger and you went into a puff of ghost, that's and then actually... your your fucking magic went down. That's a really good point because like, I did that. I'm like, wow, that actually came in really useful at the boss. Yeah. Like, 
<laughs> it would have taken like a fu- games have tutorials now because they don't come with instruction manuals anymore. <laughs> That's it. I mean, it's just it's just basic common sense really in a point. game where they're like you run up to an enemy and it'll just pause. And it's just like. By the way, press yeah. B to make a fucking cloud fart. So I'm like really wondering because like I like Symphony of Night back in '97 or eight or something. Yeah. I don't know, a long time ago. Like they would just introduce stuff to you like at a certain point where mm-hmm. all you could do is just fucking hit. Uh, yeah, you dagger. have one button that works. And all of a sudden, like Miss Mode hit RB to do that. Exactly. Like actually do that. So like with this, they didn't give you any of that. Right. Um. So I don't know if that's a question of like they just did a shitty demo and like the real game does it right or no, no, yeah, probably not. You're no. Right. <laughs> That game sucks. So, yeah, so, uh... Fuck you. Uh, so, new releases. Kane and Lynch 2, Dog Day. So, yes. we shit all over Kane yes. and Lynch 1. We it did not like Kane and Lynch 1. We did not really like bad. it at all. Um, but... I've been hearing some good good things about this game. I've been hearing some game. fantastic stuff about this game. I'm a little and worried. I, I have been, I've been playing a little bit. Like, I'm not gonna, you know, yeah, like, so... All right. So, so far, so the, have the, re, the, 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 you know, leak stuff been like, eh. So it is, it's good. Like, we'll, what? we'll, I was just as surprised what? as you. I was just as surprised. I was expecting, I was just like, oh, this is going to be another fucking phoned in. Like, the guys are gritty. Yeah, the guys and are annoying. Yeah, stupid. Yeah, yeah, like, rah, like, fucking balding dude, whatever. Yeah. We will do a full review next week, but let me just let me just say I am I am stunned at what this team has put together. I, I am shocked because Kane and Lynch one was so bad. Yeah. That and, and all the stuff I've been hearing about actually is about the multiplayer. Yeah. How the multiplayer is so innovative, where it just like you were saying, it creates these moments. Right. Where you don't really see that often happening in the, in the games, but in the best best games ever. Yeah. You have war stories, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, um, how many games can you betray people? Like, how many very multiplayer many. games? Not very many at all. Yeah. I mean, you really, like, you know, maybe in Left 4 Dead you could go and lock the door and, like, leave your guys outside that's with the buddies. Yeah, but it's like, there's no, there's no benefit yeah, to that. Exactly. So, so somebody just fucking around. Where, right. like, they have this innovative game. We can talk about it a little bit, because, like, like, I read about it in the article. It's just like, they, they actually have a mode where you have cops and robbers. Yeah. And the robbers, if, they, if the other team members die or something, then the robber gets more points at the end of the map. And more loot. They can and get more, more loot. They're getting money. Right? So they have that element of it where like yeah. you're everybody's looking at each other's back because at any point one person can turn, yeah. but you all have to stay together and keep each other alive to actually because the cops are pretty badass. Exactly. So you got to stick together to a certain point. And yeah. the cops have a mole. So you in the so you're playing. You don't know who the mole is. So there's this weird reverse psychology with when you're the mole. Yeah. You have to act <laughs> as much like you're not. Like you're not because the moment somebody does something kind of obvious, they're yeah. like, "Fuck you!" They're the mole. You kill, kill them. them. Yeah. But, so you actually have to... It, yeah. Genius. And, and, and like there's like, the whole thing with the robbers where if one robber gets to the escape vehicle, yeah. they can split the money with the driver and run away and leave their buddies. You can apparently, if you get to the end, you can decide on whether you're waiting for the robbers to show up or fuck them. Why like, would you ever want to wait for them, though? Because they have some money, too, with them? Yeah, or? probably. There's like... there's Oh, yeah, because you'd split it. Otherwise, you get to keep your full share. Oh. Yeah. So, I mean, there's, there's just weird shit going on with, like, just the oh. psychology. All this. So, I've only been playing the single player, and, you yeah. know, we'll give the full review next week. But so far, I would, I mean, I am astonished. I'm, I'm pretty amped to give this game a try. So. Yeah. Whoop. Full review next week, yes. son. Uh, uh, next, next up, uh, I'm excited Diablo about Croft. Game. Wait, what? Diablo Croft. What? That's not what I have here. Laura uh, 3. Laura Croft, <laughs> La- Laura Croft because uh, the last Laura Croft game did not do very well. So, we're going to try something a little bit Yeah, they're different. actually abandoning the name Tomb Raider. Yeah. They, there's no Tomb Raider anywhere in this. It's just Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light, mm-hmm. uh, and they're 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 basically just completely changing the model. Like they're going for a third person isometric yeah. Diablo Diablo type game. So, so a little background: uh, the guys who did uh, Lara Croft Crystal Dynamics or yeah. something like that. They're they're in the Bay Area. They they saw how bad it was. Really sucks because we really liked the last. Was it Legend? Not Legend. No, it was one after Legend. Underworld. Underworld. Yes, yeah, so Tomb Raider Underworld was actually really fun. I said it was the best Tomb Raider ever made. I seriously believe it is. that. Like it, it, um, is, it is genuinely wonderful, and no one fucking played it because they're tired of Tomb Raider. Yeah. They, don't, they don't believe in the name anymore. No, and it just doesn't have the sex appeal anymore or any of yeah. that stuff. So they're like, okay, we got to redo it. So we're going to have one team go off and reimagine Tomb Raider to be whatever. Right. And we're going to actually split off another team to say, let's, let's make some money off this Xbox Live stuff. Right. Right, or, or whatever. So now they have a downloadable title, which is isometric and yeah. co-op. And yeah. like, I don't, what, what's it all about? Well, like, the weird thing is, is you and I were looking at it, we're like, ah, it's Diablo. And, and I was just like, I was almost ready to close the window. I'm like, I get it. You run around shooting I'll, stuff. I'll play a good Diablo, though. Well, I will, right. too. But I'm just yeah. saying, like, I thought that I got it. And then we were watching a little bit mm. more. And the co-op 
starts to get interesting yeah. where it's just like there's this dude that uh, uh, tribal dude has tribal spears dude throws and a shield. spear and then Laura can jump on the spear to get to the next level so you're doing this yep. weird thing where she can bring him up with a grappling hook and he can toss a spear and she can jump on the spears yeah. and like it's a lot of army of two moments I think right? yeah like, exactly like a lot of these co-op Except moments like a good game maybe <laughs> maybe we'll yeah. see um, like, but that's the thing. Like, I'm wondering if it's going to be just like Army of Two. Just like, yeah, I get it. Like, there's no like the thing with Army of Two. There's no puzzle on this. You're just like, right. oh, I'm at the point where I need somebody else to get right. further, yeah. right? And it's just like that's. I'm worried that some of that feel will. It's possible. I mean, the, the, the thing, the best thing I can say about this though is that you and I were watching this movie and yeah. and we're watching all the cool shit that they're doing. And I was just like, dude, we got to play this shit. Yeah, well, like, I, and that's I mean, it looks that's, really good. Yeah, exactly. Right? I mean, like beautiful. it looks really, it looks really pretty. It looks kind of fun, like varied. You know, oh, there's other things where there's like time release grenades. You're yes. running up and planting grenades and stuff, and running back and they're but blowing it, up. It's the guys. If it's the same guys who did Tomb Raider, yeah. and they're now doing an isometric game, you know they're going to put some puzzles in, some exactly. good stuff, hopefully. So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to buy it right away. I'll try the trial. But yeah. dude, like the moment, like the trial's like mm, this is kind of good. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to call you up. Exactly. And say, We're going to let's is do it, this co-op. Well, we can buy it. We can do. We can play through co-op. Uh, and th- if that's fun, then that's going to be the sh- that's going to like get a good rating right there. Yeah. And so far, like all- so, this is coming out as part of the Xbox Live Summer Arcade. Like most of the games that have come out, they always like save the good stuff, mm. right? So like this is part of it. So hopefully, the quality bar is going to be good. I'm I excited so. for it. I, we're we're almost done with uh, there was there was a Monday Night Combat, there was uh, Hydra Thunder, and there was uh, uh, Limbo, Laura Croft, and Limbo. Is Laura Croft the last one? It I might be the last might one. Might be, yeah, it might be the last one. Because the thing is, like now, now that I think Madden's coming out soon, yeah. So like that officially starts. Like if you guys don't know, that's officially starts the gaming season. Yeah. When we get all sorts of amazing stuff, so we have Kane and Lynch coming. You know, Kane yeah. and Lynch, Mafia Two, Mafia Two, like. We're starting to get some good stuff again, and I'm so glad they're starting to space it out. Yeah, right? did we did we put Mafia Two on the or is that gonna That's be next week? Next, yeah, okay, next gotcha. Week. Uh, but the the demo has actually been out for about a week now. I haven't tried it yet. Is it uh, good? The demo sold me. I was just like, oh, it's gonna be another GTA clone set in the '40s, blah blah, whatever. And it's just like I played through. I'm like, buy at launch. Like the demo is fucking sick. It is really really good. So I haven't tried the demo yet. Yeah. Nudity in the demo too. Bullshit. No shit. You walk up to a counter and you pick it up, and it's like you've collected one playboy out of fifty. Like the Playboy magazine, and it opens up, and there's a naked chick. I was like, what? "You manipulative sons of bitches! You got me." Are they <laughs> boobies? That's all you need. Yes, yeah, so it must be an 18 plus demo. I don't know how they do that in the in uh, Xbox. Well, it's got to be where when you if you were stupid enough to <laughs> yeah, don't register, tell your real age Are to you register for me? a 17 or under. Then yeah, yeah so yeah, if you're a dumb dumb. So basically, if you had registered for your own account and were smart, yeah. and you're a kid, you'd get three boobies. Credit card, though. Wait, not to get the demo. But I mean, to get to register for the 18 and over account, maybe you have to have a credit card. I don't know. Dude, maybe you not. can go and buy, like, cards, uh, that's right? True, that's like, true. You're a devious son of I'm a bitch. I'm just saying, you want free, like, you can't get free boobies that are not 1940s Playboy quality. Well, yeah, anyway, so, I mean, seriously. Have you, have you met the internet? <laughs> it is made of, of naked Asian girls. If you type boobs <laughs> in Google and do images, you might yeah. get some boobs. You may get dress sentences. But you might have to turn safe search off. That's, yeah. that's the pro tip. Right. <laughs> You want to tell them your favorite porn sites too, you pervert? Hey, I'm just saying. Redtube.com. Not, so- <laughs> Wait, is it not porn tube? No. Sorry. Ah, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Filthy.com. Filthy. Uh, so- <laughs> J date. I'm sorry. J date. Uh, you dating Jewish girls? <laughs> is that not what that's about? <laughs> <laughs> Did we give that before saying like if you wanted to date Jewish people and it ended up being like a porn site? Yeah, probably. Yeah, so. We're bad people. <sighs> so uh, uh, Laura Croft, Guardian of Light. I'm totally gonna wait. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's gonna be we're gonna try trial right so away. Next up is Top Gun. What is this? So this is on PSN, yeah. and it's a what is it about? It, it's it a volleyball seems game, to right? be actually themed after like the the yeah, it's a volleyball game. That's Basically, right. yeah. You, you, so so you, it's the two stick <laughs> game, right? So you, you use them to grease up your chest. Yeah, that's the so mini game. This is the game. left stick. This is the right stick. You take this the Crisco one. and you shine it up, and you're just yep. like, you can be my wingman any day. <laughs> it's basically a gay uh, dead or alive play race. That's right. Basically. You got to wrestle Tom Cruise to the ground That's and right. make him not be a Scientologist. <laughs> you got to join the Scientology cult. Yes, you got to weasel yes. your way in. So the whole um, thing, it, it honestly just looks like Afterburner. Um, but a little bit because Afterburner's on rails, and this almost feels like to me an Ace Combat. That's true. It is. Right? It is open. It does look like it is open, open combat. Um, and it looks kind of good. I mean, it's a downloadable game, so I'm like, I'll try the demo if you, if they have it. Yeah, I mean, it, it uh, looks like kind of interesting co- Sky Combat. The cool thing that I thought was neat was that you're flying through a 3D space. And you're getting contrails and stuff, so you're actually kind of dodging through. Like you can actually see yeah. smoke and flares, and yeah, it's just like the thing about me is just like I've never really played an awesome air combat game, no. so I'm not super excited about it. But no. eh, if you if you guys are into that thing, I played a bunch of 
boring as shit flight simulators growing up. Oh, God. Don't Fucking get me started, terrible, dude. like, oh, oh, I forgot to flip the landing gear back <laughs> in after I took off. <laughs> and then it's also, like, it's not just like it crashes, it's just like the glass shatters. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> it's just like you wow. guys are way too young to have had a game this shitty. But back in the yeah. day, you would fly a 747 into the ground, and it would be like... It's like, <laughs> crack, 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 crack. Try again. Try again, yes. And then you're back on the landing strip, and you got to be like... On. Turn on the engine, push forward. This, oh, I forgot to release the brake. <laughs> Dude, it's almost as bad as that. Did you did you ever get to try that uh, the the battle battle the Mech Warrior one? Oh no no no! I've I've, I've watched. My I've, God, that game! So we actually I watched that. the people that are good at it play, and you're just like click 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 so click last, flip 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 flip. Last click. year at PAX, they yeah. actually had like four stations. Yeah yeah yeah. And like I was playing, and the guy was telling me what to do, and he's like, "Okay, no 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 no, flip the switch first, then flip this one, then flip this one." Oh, you didn't flip that one. And oh you're my god, you forgot to turn on the windshield defroster. <laughs> oh no! You're gonna die! Crack, 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 crack. <laughs> But dude, it was so cold. I'm just like, I'm like, I, I just want to shoot people. I want to shoot people. Yeah, when really? does the game start? Um, but yeah, that game is ridiculous. The Mech Warrior thing. That's crazy. Know, what, what the fuck was it? Uh, Steel Battalion. Steel Battalion. Yeah. Steel Battalion is is uh, oh. the, it's the most epic, crazy two hundred dollar controller. And game. I've been hearing rumors they might come out with a, a new game of that caliber. Not obviously Steel Battalion two, but yeah. I Capcom might be working on something. It'd be really funny as yeah. if like you're sitting on the couch and you're just playing with Connect. Just like, just like, just, just really, I think over here was the start switch. Oh, you just do the thing. It's just like wrong switch. You're like, oh, no, I waved my hand in the wrong place. That's, Bad use of connect. make it happen. Yeah, that would make not it happen. be what I want. To no, do. but with a full control of the little orb, it'll be perfect. That's true. With right? move, hold on, hold on. Wow, it's like you shoot this way close to the switch. Oh, oh, I'm too drunk. Don't to do that this. with these motion things, no, guys. No, don't do it. And give me time crisis already. Yes. Uh, last game is EverQuest 2 Extended. Yeah. So we're not really covering many MMOs, but I want to just cover... This is interesting. What it is very interesting. This? So they've got EverQuest and EverQuest 2 still running. Yeah. Uh, and now they've got EverQuest 2 Extended, which is the free-to-play version of EverQuest 2. Yeah, so you can play this game, and you can get a bunch of characters. Right. You can do, you can play all the way up to level eighty. You can do a bunch of stuff. And this is not a, this is not a, a, a free. You get to play EverQuest two. No, this is a different game. It's actually called EverQuest two Extended. You're not even playing with other EverQuest two yeah, people. Different server yeah, entirely. Totally different game. Um, and they gimp the, the like craziness out of this yeah. game. Like you have two bag slots. Can you imagine playing an MMO with two bag? I can't even picture I, just, it in my head. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how frustrating it is as a newbie when you have to collect 20 bat wings, <laughs> right? So you and, have no room for a potion, it, <laughs> right? It's just no, like, it's you... just like potion, bat wings. It's just like, damn fuck. it! So they only give you two, but if, but hey, dude, if you want six, five bucks one a month. time charge, one time charge, ten bucks, and you get oh. the silver. So bronze is free. Yeah. Ten bucks just once. One time charge for silver. You get that, and then upgrades you to a little bit of a better account. Then there's a which gold... is a playable account, is my understanding. Yeah, right? exactly. And then um, there's gold and platinum, right? And gold and platinum, and one of them is the exact same thing as paying to play, like right. fourteen, fifteen bucks. Or something In which like case, that. why are you not playing EverQuest? Yeah, it, why are you doing ones where like people can pay, actually pay money to yeah. be just? Uh, so so anyhow, they're, they're basically taking everything that Asians learned about micropayments and then just totally forgetting it. Yeah, absolutely forgetting it because the thing is with the micropayments, like they are, they're doing this shit where it's like you're playing these games in your cell phone, whatever, and you're like, yeah, I'll pay five cents for that cloak. Sure, yeah, why not? Bink, 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 bink. bink. Now it's, like, it's I'll like buy some gold for a dollar. Bink, bink, bink. You know. But with the, I'm reading this like, and you look at this chart. It's this huge table of things yeah. you get and things you don't. I'm like getting really confused, and I'm yeah. like, okay, uh, you get. Is it two classes to start free to play? So I can play a warrior or a wizard or whatever. Right. I don't know. Other classes available per charge. Yeah. You pay for the classes. You pay. Like, I want to play a bard. Like, yeah. what? You I, pay for bag slots, classes, whatever. So they basically just. <laughs> the opposite of what people want out of games, which is feeling like you're nickel and dimed every step of the way. But if you look at some of the Asian ones, I think that's probably what they do. I yeah, mean, no, they're trying true. to take some of it, but it feels to me like they're not going all the way. Right. What you really need to do is come up with a new game. Yeah. Right, you can't take an exit. You like, can you imagine WoW being a, a free to play game? No. Uh, but, okay. So, so the thing is, is I know my personality, and I'm an all you can eat kind of guy. Yeah. Like, I've always been all you can eat kind of guy. Where it's just like, <laughs> you don't say. I, hey, man, I'm not fat anymore. Yeah. So, the, yeah, right. I mean, the thing is, is, is you know, 
you take these games, I just want the fucking game. Like, yeah. I don't want them to be coming to me with pay gates and coming to me with this yeah. and that. It's just like, I will give you... What, if I like your game that much, I'll give you the full price and I'll just take everything. I don't yeah. want to be, like, running up against, like, a red screen that's like, oh, you haven't yeah. paid us another dollar for this level. Like, I want one red screen. I want one demo over, yes, right? Like, exactly. Oh, you've played this would trial. You like would this you like game? to be in this yeah. game? And I'm like, yes, I would. Right. That's for the full game. Me. Yeah. But <clears throat> apparently we're not uh, a target demographic because these <laughs> no. things are selling like hotcakes. I mean, this is working really well. So. It's, the, it's the new model that yeah. a lot of games are going to be going. It's if the Facebook look, model. It's, yeah, exactly. So you look at Facebook, you look at, Facebook, you look at Farmville and all this stuff. Yep. So, like, that's the future, but I wish they would make good games out of that. I know. Right? I know, exactly. Seriously, like... Give me None a, of them have interested me. Like, right? like, I don't want to say this, but like, make Civilization Five and like put some fucking pay thing on that. So yeah, I don't. But put it like, on Facebook, <laughs> dude. Yuzo has invited you to join his civilization. <laughs> you go in and it's just like ah, like, come on, fire falling One from more. the sky. You're like this like, civilization. All of a sudden, sucks. my wife comes to me. It's just like, why is there a five hundred dollar charge to Facebook? <laughs> you to join. You join my thing. Just, you're just like, man, why? How did you build a continent that looks like a dick? Yeah. <laughs> Come join Dick. Come join it. Dickville. Yeah. Um, uh, so, so yeah. So that's, that's the new games. Kane and Lynch. I'm excited about Laura Croft. Excited about. Yes. Not much else. The other ones, not so much. So uh, donations. So yes. with PAX coming up, yeah. we got a very, very, very generous donation from Thanks, Greg. Man. Yeah, big ups, man. Appreciate. Like, it. I mean, was... it's. From, I know you're from the UK, and you, pounds are worth millions at this yeah. point. But yeah, thanks, dude. That's thank, really you, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank uh, you, and that's totally going to help us. Uh, I'm going to probably buy pizza, the... right? I mean, we're going to have to buy a lot of pizza this Absolutely. year. Absolutely. So actually, as, as we're speaking of PAX, uh, yes. I'm going to hop to this stuff. So it's just like we'll just yes, hop let's go right there. Yeah. Stuff. So like you said, we're going to be buying pizza. We got permission from the retro game room to just go in and make a fucking happening. Wait, I think we might have a projector. We might be able to project Kickle on the screen. That's going to be the most epic, dude. I'm I'm reading shit where like people are saying like, oh, there's a giant bomb live cast during Kickle. I might go to that. I'm like, no. No! Go to Kickle. Like, Dude, Kickle's going to be the most epic Kickle this year. It is going to be oh. the best Kickle level ever. So, the donations are helping pay for pizza. We're going to have a huge gaggle of people. And uh, Game Shark has a video to amp you guys up about the schedule yes. for PAX. So, here we go. Hey, Tobin and Yuzo. It's Game Shark from the forums. Uh, your lovely Canadian moderator next to Locke, of course. It's been a while since we've last talked, but uh, anyway, I wanted to say to everyone out there on YouTube and iTunes and etc. etc. who don't listen to the formula, we have finally posted the official events for Noob Tube's Invasion of PAX 10. So what I want you guys all to do is go down to our forums, check it out, we got an official board, and basically there you'll see that we have shit going on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now I personally have all my shit almost done. Wait a second, there's just one more thing I gotta do. <laughs> yeah, now I'm done. So hope to see a lot of you guys there. It's been a blast. Yob. Yes! Yeah! Three years running, baby. Dude, that should remind <laughs> me. Like, like, we actually have, so we have NewTube shirts on Zazzle if you go to our front page. That's right. If you're going to go to PAX, if you want to be known as a NewTuber, go get one now. Absolutely. I mean, the thing is, is, like we've said many times before, we've set them at the lowest possible price. We're not trying to make any money off this. If you want to take a white t shirt and write with Sharpie Just like Game Shark did, whatever. Not, we don't care. Don't buy, I mean, buy our shirts, don't buy our shirts. But it is epic when you are there and you see somebody else wearing a noob tube shirt like when you're walking around like last year we had you know 80 almost, people yeah, show up at least almost 100 probably so you'd walk around the floor and you see people with noob tube shirts like yeah, people would be like yowling to each other like across yes! the streets it's ridiculous yes so i mean it, it identifies you as part of the crew so make a shirt buy a shirt but do it now you guys don't understand pax is seriously three weeks away from today that we're recording so when you're watching this it's like three weeks from right now. Get your shit. Make your shit. Buy your shit. Do whatever. But yeah. you guys got to come to PAX. If you haven't signed up yet, just Google PAX, P-A-X, yep. and you'll find it. It's in Seattle. Come hang out with us. Yes, I think they have some one-day passes available. And again, go to the forums. We have all the details there. Hell yes. There's a big PAX 210 board. That's right. All right. Uh, oh, we have Shoop. Shoop 100. Shoop. All right. Winner is uh, Uber, Hala, and Jakan. Yes. So uh, this yes. is it. This is Shoop 100. This Man. is uh, it's like their big anniversary Shoop. So we're coming up on our our 200th episode, sh you know, anniversary. But this is Shoop 100. So yes, thank you, Wookie Monster, for putting it together. Thank you very very much. Um, so All right, each week we like to feature the new yes. team already on the show, sending videos with questions, stories, or whatever. And you can contact us toll free at eight 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 two three three eight four eight zero, or send your f files to feedback at youtube dot com. Also, make sure you post in this video response on YouTube. Yes, keep all videos under a minute if you want to be featured on the show. And don't forget the yow bitch. Yeah, so, um, first up is Crippled Frisco. Frisco. 
Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is Crippled Frisco. This message is for you, though. So, if you go to IGN or you just search Call of Duty 7 Black Ops uh, multiplayer trailer, uh, it's out right now. It looks awesome. A lot of new stuff. Uh, check it out. It's pretty cool. All right, guys. Yow. So we've given this a shot. So and, I don't uh, play Call of Duty, but just me watching you watch this video was very entertaining because <laughs> seriously, every 10 seconds, you're like, oh, what? what? Oh, holy shit. What? So tell me, where's so, some, what's some shit? What's so you get an shit? RC car now yep. as, as a perk where you can do explosive it. Explosive RC car. Explosive RC car. Where you go in and you're like, and you see like two guys like looking over the thing like, boom, boom. and they die. Right in the back. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, what else do they have? They, they had, had the recording a, mode. Yeah, they Huge. had a camera. Oh, yeah, the recording mode was like, it's basically like the Halo, uh, the clips, right? right. Where you can so actually the, go it records and... your entire match, and you can go back and find the clips where you just friggin' pwned people oh, yeah. and pop them out and presumably upload them to YouTube. Yeah, you, bet, yeah you better be able to do something with that. Yeah. Um, they also had the camera. So they had a remote camera where you can actually leave, and in the top right, you always see what's going on. Yes. Super so like cool. that's genius. Like you can actually say like, okay, I'm gonna put this in the corner and then hide around the corner. Yeah. You know somebody's there and then go and kill them. Yeah, exactly. It's just like so. I mean, like you can kind of keep your eye on stuff. So I mean, they're basically making more and more powerful secret, you know, secret uh, agent kind of soldiers. Yeah. So like, I mean, I was looking at a lot of the other stuff, especially the single player stuff that Treyarch was doing with this. I'm just like, yeah, it's gonna suck. It's yeah. Treyarch. They sh- they shit all over World at War. It's kind of sucky. Right. I. I kind of want to play the multiplayer now yeah, at this I mean, point. I like, think this is really of, interesting. They've taken the feedback that people have said is this, like, it seems like Treyarch always fucks up the games. And yeah. like they're like, you know what? We're going to innovate the crap out of the multiplayer. We're going to put in all these things that look really interesting. They're going to, you know, like, it, it looks yeah. like they really put in a lot of stuff. Yeah, so the worry I have is, like, they kind of tried to do that with World at War II. It's just like, okay, instead of, uh, you know, like, you know, eight, uh, which one we call it? Eight, like, whatever, like, bombardments, we're going to have docks. Yeah. Oh, this one they got napalm. That was crazy. Yeah, well, yeah, they added napalm. It was amazing, right? It's just like, but like that's what, but that's what Treyarch did with World at War. It's just like we're gonna add dogs, and it's just like, uh, you all of a sudden, a woof, plane, woof, woof, woof. a plane flies over, and it's like dogs <laughs> with parachutes. <laughs> da, 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 like German <laughs> Shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, the best visual ever. Can you imagine like a thousand dogs parachuting out of a plane? Like, ah. They land, they're like, woof, woof, woof. I would, play, like, I would play that game. Yeah, ideally, right? Yeah. But it's just like they added a bunch of cool shit, yeah. which wasn't, it, wasn't just, cool. it wasn't that cool. So I'm worried that, like, with, you know, with Infinity Ward, they actually put stuff in. It's just like, it, it's fun. It's yes. interesting. It's tested. Right. This one actually looks like a bunch of ideas that some kids smoking whatever were yeah. like, yeah, man, wouldn't it be awesome if. Call of Duty did this. But maybe they'll be good. But maybe they'll be good. Yeah, I mean, they look it, pretty cool. It, you sold me. Like, with this trailer, like, yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to buy The it. dive was crazy, too. The guy was I running. Know, was I like, know. fucking just, just did, like, the Superman dive. Well, I do that all the time where, like, I'm going and I jump and I'll right, go prone. Like, yeah. I'm going, like, oh, do I see somebody? <laughs> <laughs> like, bam, 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 bam. Yeah. So now you actually see their guy go, and he goes the, prone. He's yeah. like the Superman. I'm like, that makes me harder to kill. Yeah. I'm going to be doing that shit all the time. Yeah, everybody's going to be, like, just doing, like, the, 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 the worm. <laughs> <laughs> I will pay for that. Hell yeah. So uh, that's our show for the week, that's man. That's it, man. It uh, uh, yeah. All right. That's our show for the week. Uh, please check out our website at noobtube.com and participate in the forum by clicking on the community tab at the top of the page. Hell yeah. And if you're watching on YouTube, there's a subscription button right here over my head. Also, uh, rate this video by giving a big old thumbs up to my right thiacle. Thiacle, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. This is wait shit. That's all this episode. I'm yeah, telling you. You almost forgot. I almost did. I am Yuzo Watanabe. Our audio engineer. Engineering is done by Range Shizzlers Strunk. <laughs> Thank you for listening. We'll see you next week. You're drunk. I am We're lead. out! Got you down? You need Tobin's Beat the Koreans Boot Tramp. Tra- <laughs> boot Tramp. <tra-tramp. laughs> yes! <laughs> StarCraft 2 Boot Camp Training Course. I am interested. <laughs> Let's go. Show me more. <laughs> yeah, tell me more. Let's go. Again. God damn it. What's up, bitch? Kareen's got you down? You need Tobin. StarCraft 2 boot trap. Boot. <laughs> boot. Just something to say training course. Yes. Bullshit. Yes.